sort of the irony is that we're dealing with a very conservative group of individuals who are embracing something that is completely alien to the idea of conservatism, right? Yeah, and that was really kind of one of the interesting things I worked through with my sources and my research here is on the one hand, obviously white Southerners were very conservative and they held very conservative political values. But on the other hand, they are very much responding to these liberal ideas of republicanism, self-government, self-rule, rights. They're just trying to define them in a way, again, to kind of blend the two. So in the liberal international perspective, for example, one of the keys to that perspective is they believe that the South deserves national independence because anti-slavery is creating tyranny, just like empires and monarchs and despots were creating tyranny in Europe. So they're conflating slavery, their ability to use the government to protect slavery, with these liberal rights of self-government. And, you know, again, certainly um, I think we recognize it doesn't work that way. Those are incompatible philosophies. And like I say, even at the time, their larger audience largely was not buying that argument either, but that's what they're trying to do, dress up their anti-liberal movement and this language of liberalism that was so popular, even within the South. 